Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you another hair tutorial and this is based on the style that I was wearing in my new face and body skincare favorites. So um, in that video, I had my hair, it's flipped over to the opposite side than it is normally cut to do. And it is when my hair is a little longer. So I am about ready to get my hair cut again. So I thought I better quickly do this video for you and show you just another option of styling your longer pixie. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started styling my hair. As usual, just going to do a rough comb through my hair. And this style, if you haven't seen that video, what we're gonna be doing is the sides and the back are going to be flat. And then um, again, combing it over to the opposite side. But I'm gonna style it a little bit differently than I've done before. So I'm gonna take, today I'm using the Wella Root Shoot. I also love the Catblock Root Boost. And I am just going to do a little bit of this right here at the crown. And then normally my hair goes over to the right. Today I'm doing it to the left and I'm gonna blow dry it that way. And I'm also going to add a little extra body here. So I want a little of that root shoot there and on this side as well. And then what I like to do is just take a little bit in my hand and work this through the bottom just to add a little texture, even though it's going to be flat. I still kind of like having a little bit of hold down here and then on the sides. And then taking just one pump of the Acure Argon Oil, Moroccan Argon Oil, and work that through. And before I start blow drying, I just kind of want to give you a brief glimpse of how long my hair is. So you can see here on the sides right now, it's about to the bottom of my earlobe. And then you can see the back here. When I pull it out, um, it's still about, it's probably almost two inches, but it is tapered down just a little bit. That's something new I've had my stylist do. Um, and then here on top, um, I've got some pretty good length. And then the bangs are what is getting longer and that's what I think helps this style work well. So let's get started with the blow dryer. in with our flat iron and I'm just going to kind of shape a couple of spots uh, right here on the sides because I want these nice and flat and straight. I'm going to take my flat iron through the sides there and I have this set on about 350. I might even could go down just a little lower. Just want to be super careful here over the ears and we are going to tuck this hair behind the ears. So I'm just going to kind of 
run this through here at the top because I want a little bit of spikiness here. And it's up to you whether you want the back to be smooth. I kind of just let my hair decide if it wants to do that or not. And today, it looks like I've got a few little crazies here. So we'll kind of just smooth those out a little bit. Here on this side, I'm gonna do the same thing as the other side. Just kind of flatten down. Not necessarily flip, but just kind of straighten down here. And then I have a strange cowlick. This always just kind of wants to go that direction. So um, depending on how it's cooperating, I may curl it down, sometimes I'll curl it back. So today it looks like it might cooperate. So let's hope. Okay, and then on this side, you should already have a good sweep, and that was why I did the blow drying this direction, just to really get it going that way. But as a little extra texture through here, I just like to take the uh, flat iron and I'm turning it back and just pulling it through, and it almost kind of makes it look like it's curled just a little bit. And then here at the top, I'll kind of do the same thing, just kind of really just put a bend in the end of that hair. And then here, do a little bit of that as well. And now it's time to further shape and I'm gonna use my favorite Enjoy Dry Wax. And I don't use nearly as much when my hair is styled like this than I do when I have it spiked. So probably I start off with about half the amount, just a tiny little bit on the tips of my fingers. And I start at the crown here. And then I will just run a little bit through the back like this and then just further flatten. And so that just adds a little bit of texture down there. And then grab a little more wax and we'll put it through the top here. And again, probably about the same amount of wax as we started with there. And I'm going to just kind of shape and as I grab pieces, I'm gonna turn kind of back and twist. And then here, I'm going to just really rub some of this in the roots of the hair to get some, keep that body there. My hair seems extra full today. <laughs> so that's a good thing when you're wearing the style. A little extra fullness never hurt, right? And then here over the ears, I'm just gonna add a little wax and I am going to tuck the sides. Okay. And so you can see, I just kind of put my fingers into some sections here, just to further lift. And then we're gonna hit it with some hairspray. First, I'm gonna check out the back, make sure all of that is in a good, going in the right direction. And you can see I have a little, some extra spikes here. Now we're gonna hit it with some hairspray. I'm just using my Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray.
hairspray. And again, after a few short bursts, I'm doing my texturing thing and just grabbing pieces of hair. As that hairspray dries, it just kind of helps hold the hair in place. And here is our finished look. So just a little something different here at the front I think is kind of fun and it's also very helpful if your bangs have gotten really long and you're waiting for your next cut. That is what happened to me last time. My bangs were super long. They're still kind of long, but they're not as long as they were last time. So, but this is just a trick to kind of help give you a few more days, or in my case, I had to wait an extra week to get your hair cut and have it not drive you nuts. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. For those of you that requested it, um, hopefully it was helpful for you. I have another visit to the salon coming up and another hair tutorial based on the look that I was wearing in my Use It Up January series. So thank you as always so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.